Hi everyone! Today we're going to take a look at the best workstation CPUS in the market for this year. First we're going to show you our top 8 best picks, and we'll talk about what you look for before buying a workstation CPUS. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started! At the first position of our list, we have AMD Threadripper 3995X. Intel's seemingly endless delay in transitioning to the Tenum node, and a new architecture has left the industry ripe for disruption. As a result, AMD's Threadripper 3000 processors ruled the upper segment of the HET market uncontested. The Threadripper 3990X established itself as the fire-breathing standard bearer for the entire consumer market. But AMD has brought a very similar model to Redil that's specifically designed for workstations. AMD's Threadripper 3995X lots in as the workstation market's uncontested leader in multi-threaded work with 64 cores, 128 threads, and supports up to two the memory spread out among eight memory channels, not to mention 128 lanes of PCIe 4.0 connectivity. AMD also has less pricey downstream WX models, too. The Zen 3-powered Threadripper 3995 is pretty much exactly what AMD says it is, a highly specialized processor that provides incredible performance in a narrow cross-section of workloads, but at an extremely attractive price point given its capabilities. AMD's decision to pair 64 cores and 128 threads with higher boost frequencies pays big dividends in VFX, 3D animation, and ray tracing workloads with more performance than you would expect from any comparable workstation class solution, not to mention even some dual socket servers. The higher boost frequencies provide snappy performance in everyday lightly threaded applications and devastating threaded performance in workloads that scale well. The $5,489 price tag is eye-watering, but for professionals that can benefit from the 3,995 these hefty alignment of cores and threads, it's worth every penny. If you are looking for a more price-conscious model and don't need support for 8 memory channels or 128 lanes of PCIe 4.0 connectivity, then the consumer-oriented 64-core Threadripper 3,990X makes for a nice alternative. Moving on to the next and number 2 with AMD Threadripper 3,907X. While the Threadripper 3,990X-3,995 brings the utmost performance possible to bear, the exotic design does result in slower performance in some common workloads, leaving room for the Threadripper 3,907X to serve as the more reasonable option for the productivity-minded. The 32-core, 64-thread Threadripper 3,907X delivers devastating threaded performance in its price range often trouncing Intel's most exotic silicon. Intel Xeon W3175X is ill suited to take on the comparatively power-sipping Threadripper processors on a power efficiency basis, not to mention pricing. Threadripper 3000 also brings a solid gain on the single-threaded performance front, too. AMD's forward-thinking adoption of the PCIe 4.0 interface is another attraction that will help win over the semi-professional crowd. While a faster interface isn't as useful in the mainstream desktop, the ability to stack up throughput craving devices behind the chipset without the radical throughput restrictions we see with Intel's DMI is another big win. The number 3 position is held by Intel Core in an E10,908X. The Core in an E10,908X is a solid alternative pick. Just be aware that you'll sacrifice quite a bit of threaded horsepower by selecting the Core in an E10,908X. For streamers and professionals who can make use of the extra i slash o of and quad channel memory, Intel's Cascade Lake X flagship earns its niche, but the Ryzen 5950X and 3950X are a better value for most productivity workloads, where the more robust HET platform is less important. That leaves a preciously slim slice of the market, where Intel has an advantage in this price bracket. Users that need quad channel memory or more PCIe lanes Overclocking performance is a factor if you're willing to spend the cash. You can drop the 10,900 8x into an existing X299 board if you're willing to sacrifice a few PCIe lanes. But be aware that this is the end of the line for the X299 platform. The 14M process equates to faster clock speeds and thus performance and lower overall power consumption. The Core in an E10,900 8x also has much higher overclocking headroom than its predecessor. 
but the 10,908x advantage after tuning over the AMD Ryzen 5 1950X comes at a $280 premium and requires more robust cooling and power delivery. So you should factor that into your purchasing decision. In most cases, the Ryzen 9 5950X and 3950X, both listed below, remain the better choice if you can find those ships on shelves. Next at number 4, we have AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. High-end desktop head processors have long offered the ultimate in performance, as long as you were willing to pay the price. Aside from high pricing, head chips also require expensive accommodations, like beefy motherboards and the added cost of fully populating quad-channel memory controllers. Add in the inevitable trade-offs, like reduced performance in lightly threaded applications and games, and any cost-conscious users who could benefit from the threaded horsepower of a head chip just settle for mainstream offerings. AMD's Ryzen 9 5950X, with 16 cores and 32 threads, expands on its predecessor's mission of bringing head-class performance to mainstream motherboards, lowering the bar for entry. The 5950X carries a $799 price tag. But that's downright affordable compared to competing head processors that don't offer the same class of performance. You can even find it for as low as $750. The Ryzen 9 5950X's 5, healthy slathering of cores and threads are incredibly adept at productivity workloads. Still, it does come with a dual-channel memory controller that can restrict performance in workloads constrained by memory throughput. However, Outside of that notable restriction, if you're after a chip and platform that can do serious work seriously fast, but still be nimble enough to deliver high refresh gameplay at the end of the day, the Ryzen 9 5950X fits the bill like no other CPU before it, blurring the lines between head and mainstream platforms. The number 5 position is held by AMD Ryzen 9 3950X. The Ryzen 9 3950X is a previous-gen processor, and we typically don't recommend investing in older chips for productivity-focused builds. However, given sporadic chip shortages, the Ryzen 9 3950X might be the only option at times if you're looking for a 16-core 32-thread processor to drop into a mainstream motherboard. AMD's 16-core 32-thread Ryzen 9 3950X brings at class performance to mainstream motherboards, lowering the bar for entry. The 3950X carries a $749 MSRP, but you can find this nimble chip for tilde $715 at retail. The number 6 position is dominated by AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. If you're truly only concerned about the best gaming CPU and basic productivity tasks, you should go with the Ryzen 5 5600 and save yourself some money. However, if you prize a brutal mix of performance in all aspects, like single and multi-threaded work and gaming, the Ryzen 9 5900X is your chip. It delivers in all facets. The 12-core 24-thread Ryzen 9 5900X is rated for a 3.7 GHz base and 4.8 GHz boost, but we clocked it in at 5.0 GHz during our own testing. Not only is the 5900X incredibly potent in threaded applications given its price point, it's also the uncontested fastest gaming chip on the market, so you'll get the best of both worlds. There's also support for PCIe 4.0 and overclockability to consider. The Ryzen 9 5900X drops into existing 500 series and some 400 series motherboards. Be sure to assure compatibility. You'll need to bring your own cooler, and the bigger, the better cooling definitely is an impact on performance with the higher-end Ryzen 5000 processors. However, if you're looking for a chip with a great mixture of both single and heavily threaded performance, the Ryzen 9 5900X is a great option. Moving on to the next at number 7 with AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. The AMD Ryzen 5 5600X offers a compelling blend of pricing and performance in its price range. But the 6-core 12-thread chip lands at $299, a $50 price hike over its previous-gen counterpart. However, the 5600 brings more than enough extra application performance to justify the premium, not to mention that it's the most power-efficient desktop PC processor we've ever tested. That means it is easier to cool than competing chips in its price range, ultimately resulting in a quieter system. AMD Zen 3 Micro Architecture results in a stunning 19% increase in EPT, which floats all boats in terms of performance in gaming, single-threaded, and multi-threaded applications. 
The 5600 serves up more than enough performance for day-to-day -day application workloads, but you'll need to align your expectations with the fact that this is a 6-core processor. That said, you won't find this level of performance from any other 6-core chip on the market. If entertainment is also on the menu, the 5600 is an incredibly well-rounded chip that can handle any type of gaming, from competitive class performance with high refresh rate monitors to streaming. The Ryzen 5 5600 has a 3.7 GHz base and 4.6 GHz boost clock. But with the right cooling and motherboard, you can expect higher short-term boost. The chip also has a 65 TDP rating, meaning it runs exceptionally cool and thin quiet given its capabilities. The previous gen model was 95U. Existing AMD owners with a 500 series motherboard will breathe a sigh of relief as the 5600 drops right into existing 500 series motherboards and some 400 series models. Be sure to check compatibility list. If you need a new motherboard to support the chip, both 400 and 500 series motherboards are plentiful and relatively affordable, with the B550 lineup offering the best overall value for this class of chip. The number 8 position is held by Intel Core IF of 11400. The Core IF of 11400 represents the lowest end processor we'd recommend for a productivity focused machine. The 11400 is the best budget chip on the market largely because AMD's only competing chip comes in the form of the two-year-old Ryzen 5 3600 that can't compete with the more modern 11400. You can also pick up the graphics less core IF of 11400 for $157, which is a steal given its performance. Remember, the 11400 will perform the same as the non-F model, but you lose QuickSync, taken as a whole. The Core IF of 11400 is a better blend of performance than the Ryzen 5 3600 throughout our full suite of application tests. The 11400's large lead in single-threaded work is impressive, and its only deficiencies in threaded work come when it is topped with its stock cooler. The 11400 roughly matches the 3600 in threaded work with a better cooler, even with the power limits strictly enforced while removing those limits gives the 11400 uncontested lead. The core IF of 11400 supports the PCIe 4.0 interface. Additionally, these series motherboards, which make the best pairing with this chip, support both memory overclocking and lifting the power limits, both of which yield huge dividends. You'll have to overlook the higher power consumption if you go with the core IF of 11400, especially if you remove the power limits. Intel's stock cooler is also largely worthless, so you should budget for a better cooler. That's all for today. We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.